back to wine and whips number three, I think we're on now. Um, I didn't do one last week for several reasons. Um, hello, Growler. As people may know, I work in retail and last Friday was Black Friday, which means last week and this week has been pretty awful for getting any time alone to myself to do anything. Any of my big projects that I wanted to have planned, anything like that. Which means I don't have a huge amount to actually show you this week. Or do I? So, that's my work keys and I should thought I'd move them. I'm not going to kick the guys out because this is kind of an informal thing with, with uh, for us. And also because they haven't seen me much. So, I'm going a bit um, Christmassy today. And we are drinking Buck's Fizz. And Loki is throwing my creative arts all over the place. Buck's Fizz. Which is orange juice and white sparkling wine. It's really good. And I can drink nearly an entire bottle of this. And not get drunk. Which is amazing. But it is still wine. So. Winning on that part. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, due to work as well this month, I have had to stop doing my NaNoWriMo challenge. However, I am going to still write. As of today, I am starting to write just um, a thousand words a day, not nearly 2,000 like it was last month. Growler, don't do that. The laptop's up there. Um, and so I'll tell you like, if I get past the bit that I'm stuck on, because I'm still stuck on the bit that I was telling you about in week one. So... I have also made some more Christmas cards. I'm just going to swing, I'm a little tired. Um, now, these are the ones that I made in the video last week, if you have actually watched it. Which you may have done. I really like these, actually. They were really quick and simple to make. I say quick, they took me about 10 minutes each. But I really like these. And now that I've shown them off, I can actually pair them with the gifts. Because everybody that I buy a gift for gets a Christmas card. It's kind of the way I work. Um, because, yeah. This one's nice, but I'm not sure I like it as much. Um. I, the envelopes for these are slightly too large for the actual, um, card. And I started making another one, but I haven't finished it yet, so I hope to show it off to you guys next week. Hopefully. Um, and this is the other one. I really like this one, actually. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Now, this is all just using paper and card and stamps. Uh, not a lot of card, actually, to be fair, because I didn't have any white cards spare. Weirdly enough. Now, finally, I have been trying to get myself to be a little bit more... Like, if I can't make anything... Woo. I have been doing other creative things and I love seeing what other people have done. Now, I really love this manga colouring book, uh, which is called Camilla Derrico. I think I pronounced the name right. Pop Manga Colouring Book, A Surreal Journey Through a Cute, Curious, Bizarre and Beautiful World. Now, I use my colouring books when I finish them. I, or I will be. Um... So some of these pages are not going to be double-sided because I want to use it. So for example, this here is the first page and it's the first one I've finished. Um, and it is a little fairy creature with her frog companion riding a guinea pig carrying eggs which turn into little unicorns. And I will use that somewhere, either in my scrapbooking or in my book of shadows, which I've done a lot of work on, but I didn't want to show anybody that who wasn't interested. So I'll do a separate video for that one. I've got a lot more in it. Um, yeah, and then I coloured some feathers. They're not particularly, you know, anything interesting because um, uh, I just want to use those in my book of shadows and in my scrapbooking, just as a backgroundy kind of thing. Now. 
I don't know if I want to do this one. I haven't done it yet, but you know, I might do that one. I'm not sure. It's a bit big and it won't fit in anything. And so I did these two. Like this one, I actually started on Black Friday and really like this one. Like all the goopy colours and pretty like orangey blue eyes and weird things like that. I'm going to turn that into something I reckon. And then the octopus lady I did on Wednesday night um, because Wednesday was a horrible day for me. Um, I'm not going to go into why. Now unfortunately that doesn't mean that these really nice pretty pages aren't going to be used but um, I have two here that I really, really like that aren't finished yet. So I'll show you them. Now this one I've been working on for ages. But I find colouring pencils are, are much harder to use than my Copic markers, which, like, again, I started this one on Wednesday and I've almost done it. So I hope to finish this one soon. Hey, play nice you two, especially you if you're sitting on my lap. Um, have I done any more in this one? Again, I started doing that one with coloured pencils. Um, it's one of those ones where it's kind of hard for me to sometimes figure out which ones I want to do. And which ones I don't want to do because I want to get the ones that I finish. It's like I, I'm going to keep and use them in something. But some of them, like this one, is really nice and I love the symbolism behind that picture. But it's huge. Now, what, what do I do with it? Because um, I'm not one of those people that can really just finish using a colouring book and go, oh, I'm going to put it to one side. Oh, yes, that was another one. I forgot about her. I'm really proud of her. I really like her. Kind of like a, um, a tribal tree, autumn tree nymph. She was fun to do. Um, but yeah, I need to do some more scrapbooking. I've got to get my dad's um, Christmas present finished in the next couple of weeks. And... Um, I've been working on that for months, so I really should get that going on that, get a wiggle on that. Um, but that is all I've really had time for. I have stuff that I want to do, I have so much stuff that I want to do, but I'm coming home so late at the moment that I'm not managing to get much stuff done. And unlike most people who are like, ah, I get two weeks off over Christmas, I get Christmas Day and Boxing Day off. Um... And New Year's Day. You know. Um, it's a little frustrating um, to see people going, oh, this is the time of year when I get all my stuff done and I'm sitting there like, this is the time of year where I panic and can't do anything and it's frustrating and annoying and there's so much stuff I want to do. I've got Christmas presents that I still need to make. Or your presents in this case. And... Mm stuff to put away but I'm going home from work and I just don't have the energy and it's frustrating but oh another thing I did which is this it's now over my face for a couple of seconds every month I'm going to use some of my old drawings to create a new outro thingy because I really need to get back into my drawing and my artwork all my photo photography seeing as I have got a DSLR and I should use it um, I want to, in the new, well technically it's the new year now for me because October is, you know, Halloween, this is the first month of the year for me. Um, but when we get to January and everything's calmed down, which is the biggest thing because my year starts off really hectic and then calms down, whereas everyone else's year starts off quite calm and then gets hectic. And like, no, 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 I start off with the hectic shit. Mm. Um, I was like, apologies for last week for not uh, only getting two videos out, but prep for Black Friday started on the Tuesday of last week, and it was like pretty much um, I was 
off Sunday, Monday, and in Tuesday, and from Tuesday it just rat ratcheted straight up. And then this week I had Sunday and Tuesday off, and it it's just been hell on legs. Um, I kind of get that people want stuff for Black Friday. I didn't even get to spend any money because it was just like everything was so stressful. It was just awful. But anyway, we're not here to discuss the negative. We're here to discuss the, po discuss the positive. So, hopefully, now I will be able to start doing my um, writing some more. Um, so I can uh, talk to you more about my, my story. And hopefully I'll be able to go. I finally got past that writer's block bit that I had. The horrible writer's block. Mm. And like... I'll have made more cards, I'll have my dad's um, scrapbook done, hopefully. But that's it for this week. It's a really quick one, just about cards and colouring books and plans, which may never come to fruition, but I can live in hope. And drinking Bucks Fizz, because, you know, it's the start of the season. Ah. But, anyway... Um, no one sent me in anything this week, so I have nothing to show and tell for you today uh, from other people. Um, but I hope you have fun. I will see you on Monday for another SCP or Creepypasta reading. I haven't recorded it yet, so I don't know which. But I will see you then. So take care and goodbye, guys.